great win for the ambassador. All stars now. We see New Zealand development team taking on Wahuka in men's pool C action. The New Zealand sevens development good winners first up. And there one as well. Big opportunity for Rahuka to take on some of the best. Carl Tinana alongside me, Ricky Swanell. What have you made of the New Zealand Sevens development team so far? Well, I think the thing is the first game up, there were some great patches, but also there were some patches they won't be happy with, especially defensively, allowing the ambassador team to cross their line twice. So this guy here, Brady Wash, he'll be integral for the chances for the New Zealand development team over the course of this weekend. It is Brady Rush to get us going this match late into the afternoon on day one here at the McDonald's. Fiji Coral Coast Sevens. It's scooped up by Sam Dixon. Looks in pretty good nick. Missed the early stage of the season with a late injury. Mm, that's why he had to pull out of some World Series tournaments. But this is a good start for Ravuka. Trying to work their way through the middle. It's the captain, Naikosa. Finds support on the shoulder. New Zealand development making a lot of early tackles as Ravuka go again. Umasi, here is the captain again. Busy and almost busting through, just clinging on with Cecil Harris around the jersey. Dixon's got in there to try and disrupt for New Zealand development, but they concede another penalty. Wasi wanted to go quickly, but just slowing things up now. Samani Valu. Loses his footing. Some well at Samani Valu. Ball's laid back though for Taraka. Still going. And now stabbing a clever little kick through. Oh, Rush just getting back there in time for New Zealand development. And then trying to run his way out of trouble and creating a little bit more. In fact, for Amanaki Nicole under all sorts of pressure. Oh, great attack there from Ravuka. It's unfortunate there in the middle of the field where they're looking dangerous. Just slipped. Ooh. On the turf, otherwise I think they were in. Really stretching New Zealand with their speed of play, pre-contact passing. New Zealand, well that forces them into a little bit of ill-discipline, giving away a lot of penalties at the moment. Huge attacking chance here for Rahuka. Five metre line. It's messy though. New Zealand put a bit of a way on, but they're able to clear away. Ravuka again. And it comes away through Voice. Voice. Oh, just bumping over the top. Big contact. Drop the shoulder in and will open the scoring. Well, again, this is a difference in playing in Fiji where the wingers will have a go regardless of the space. He hits the angle. Jovesa. Voice. But in the end, just look at him. Just barge through. And that's something a lot of international teams need to adjust to. You have to cover that outside. A lot of players on the circuit won't do that. They'll pull out and play structures. We're here in Fiji. They will back themselves all day long. Chance to convert from wide. Jovelisi Saraka. Well, actually, not that wide. Oh, my thought, but it's just going to stay wide this time, but a good start for Ravuka. Well, this is reward for possession and attitude. That's all that is, that last contact. Man, oh, man, what do you got? Well, the number 11, he showed that he had the most there in that one. Free start goes deep down to Dixon. New Zealand trailing early. Jaden Keelan goes into... A heavy tackle. Dixon and Nicole, the experienced players, trying to get themselves involved, as does Brady Rush roaming wide this time. Just tried to drop a little ball, though, under pressure, and it's scooped up once again by Ravuka, who are really testing and challenging and causing all sorts of problems for this New Zealand side. Singatava. Dixon trying to get on that and did well. Well, it's the intensity by Ravuka Dixon doing fantastic work. That's what you want to see when you're seeing your player. Xavier Cecil Harris, the other in the New Zealand team with World Series experience. And they go up through the middle. Amanaki Nicole, those big long legs up over halfway. And come away to the left with 
sticks in again. Lucky 64 Harris gets rid of the first defender and then all the fingertip control. I thought he might have just held on to it. Micah Fale lost it at the last second. Oh, it was the right idea though. What was Don Fale was trailing rather than support playing with his line. Thought he was going into the setup rather than being an option on the pass. Fantastic build of the Amanaki Nicole. Sam Dixon heavily involved the big boys. That's what you want. Tried the no-look pass and said he was trailing. Unfortunately, Fale couldn't take that one. A good three goes at it. Just about controlled it on the fingertips. But Navuka with some pressure coming on from Tamati. Jai Tamati doing brilliantly. Individual solo work. Now finds the support and rush. The hands down low and brilliant. As is the balance and the score in the corner. Now, this is the effort you want to see, especially as a coach, Jai Tamati, chasing down that pill. He was the only one there from New Zealand. Look at the number one go to work, puts it to the toe. Here's the call out the back from Amanaki Nicole. Job still not done, turns around, picks up a brilliant ball on his feet, controls it and scores. That's great skill from the number one. Conversion wide is stays wide. But New Zealand Sevens development back into it thanks to the good work of that young man, Jai Tamasi. But look at this pickup. Here's the effort. Here's the dropout. And here's the effort on effort. Play gets back and becomes a receiver. That's nice. Ravuka, oh, no way through there. <laughs> giving away another penalty New Zealand development and still playing under advantage again not on side so just piggybacking them back up field and they don't need a second invitation as John Mussey goes through the middle and then the flick ball out the back of the hand there's plenty of pace just dragged down by Keelan coming across ball still alive though and it's Wasi again gets a second try for Ravuka Geez, that was a nice counter-attack. Again, the old discipline from New Zealand. Back-to-back -back penalties for Ravuka. This is a nice break from Masi. That was a beautiful pass from him. And I thought he was in for all money. Mate White. The good composure from Vuasi had even put himself in a position to score that try. That's nice for a second. Supporters in the crowd happy to see Ravuka go back in front on the stroke of half time, really testing the black jerseys of New Zealand development. And it's Ravuka leading at the break. Look at this pass, though. You watch this going into contact out the back door. That is nice. Brilliant skill from Ravuka. And they deserve this lead, no doubt about that. One of our ambassador, Rasa Rasa Vinge, warming up the crowd. I think he works some moves like that. Oi, <laughs> look out. Here we go, here we go. It's a fun affair though here at Singer Talker. Say, well, that's some flexible hips. No way I'm getting up like that. My hamstring just tightened watching that bit. That's good energy late in the day as well. Love it. We'll give that tens from the Kiwi judges. Oh, the uniqueness of rugby sevens in Fiji. That's what it's all about, fun. But now we get back to work for these two teams. A lot on the line. Ravuka leading 10 points to five over New Zealand development. As we get the second half underway, it's brought in by Sam Dixon. A little dart down the short side, not a whole lot of room there. So New Zealand, Brady Rush, and they go inside out. So eventually 
Find his way forward. Not missing in defense either. No Wilker at the moment. Maybe Lawaki going to ground. Rush through the hands. He's had some nice touches too. Jaden Keeler looking to open things up on the outside for Joey Thalmatene. And ball back in field for Brady Rush again in support. He's been prominent in that area. Up over halfway. Oh, New Zealand development. They open up again for Nicole. And Dixon now roaming in the middle. Trying to put it on the chest of the Flyers down the outside and finding Sanita Lawake. And New Zealand strike first after half time. What well, is great continuity? They just started in their own 22. You can see the urgency from this New Zealand development team. Finally, they get it wide. They go edge to hedge. And the head goes down from Sanita Lawake. That is exactly what they wanted. The first try in the second half, just to even it up. Didn't hesitate, did he? As soon as that ball was on the chest, it was, as you said, head down, foot down, backing himself to the line. <laughs> Maloni Kunawabe, New Zealand under 18, just pushes the kick, so we're all square. You see that the pass is on the chest. That's what they pride themselves on, those micro skills, this New Zealand team. Just looking at Sam Dixon holding his shoulder a little bit. New Zealand skip up. Oh, that tackle, did it just creep up a little high? Referee says play on. Probably would have been a yellow card in other places. No, there's the penalty. There we go. Yeah, got a call for him, assistant referee, and it was the right call as well. Ravulka, they've scored two really good tries, looking for a third to go back in front. The 21 year old Michael Younger sits on halfway. Navakali. And now opening up. Molawanga Tambu goes ahead, puts it on the toe, and it's just scooped up by Nicole, but nowhere for him to go. Amanaki Nicole. Well, it's an area a lot of these local teams use as a kick in behind. Something you have to be aware of. Amanaki Nicole there was an experience on the World Series, reading that on the edge. Good option there from Ravuka. They will get the throw into this line out, more importantly. Very tall line out for New Zealand as well with Nicole and Dixon, who prides themselves on this area of the game. Yeah, nothing much Amanaki Nicole could do there except secure that ball and take it out. A bit of height into themselves into this line out. Oh, Walker. And it's Dixon who gets in front and steals it away. Ball bounces kindly for Rush to try and create in the middle. Here's the try scorer, Lawake. Powerful. Good carry and good awareness to get up, go again, wasn't held. And then giving away the penalty, Ravuka. Giving New Zealand some front foot ball to roll forward again. Dixon ridden into the turf. Lawanga Park. Another penalty, though. Well, they haven't been shy on defence, have they? Ravuka, they're not being intimidated. Sam Dixon, again, that shoulder I don't think is good. Well, if he wanted a test of where the body was at, he's had such a rough run of injury, Sam Dixon. Doesn't want to carry on, though. He shook the trainer away, didn't he, the physio away? Well, I think the thing is now, this is the line out, and this is what New Zealand need. They need him in here. It was a great read on defence. They come in and jam in. Nothing wrong with that tackle, gets up, uses his shoulder, doesn't go over the 90, lands directly on the chest as well. I think the shoulder was a little sore before. It's not going to help it. And the thing is, Amanaki gets sub Nicole, and Dixon stays on. Important throw here, though, for the New Zealand development. Oh, goes long over the top to Rush, trying to work a set move, and they look like... They could execute it to perfection here. New Zealand development, they do exactly that. Keelan's going to run it in around the post. Set piece perfection. This is beautiful work from Joey Tomatene, the number 12 for New Zealand development, doing all the work. The ball's going to go over to Brady Rush. 
and then Toma Tene at the front of the line out. Look at the work. He decoys. He drops out of the line out. He wraps around. He's going to get the ball out the back. And look at this pass. Cops some medicine as well. But that's brilliant work. And set up easily for Keelan. Well, they've got themselves in front. New Zealand development team. The first time in the match. It was a good game. Been busy. Jade and Keelan. Good restart. Good contest. And it lands for Ravuka. And away they come again. Trying to wrestle the advantage back with a beautiful offload streaking down the side as the vice captain, Sunlight Thor. And they will hit straight back. Ravuka. Oh, this little pass to set him free is brilliant. That one there just lays it up on a platter. Still had a lot to do. The Sagaitu, but he shows the speed. I thought he might have given it to the inside player to make it easy for the conversion. 15-17 conversion to come. John Massey going to keep this well wide. Head in the hands, but still plenty of time in this one. Well, if you call 15 seconds, plenty. With plenty of time for a restart, and that's all they need, an opportunity. Got to go 10 here. Oh, New Zealand 7's hanging on. Oh, they play at it. It wasn't going to go 10, but they secure position. Bang the ball into touch. And the New Zealand 7's development hold on for a tough, tough victory. And that young man, Jaden Keelan, with the late try to win it, a shake of the head, exhaustion. You learn the hard way how to play sevens in Fiji, but they came through it well in the end. New Zealand sevens development, 17, the Ravuka Sharks, 15.